She has cleared the surface of corn and now is digging. That's what we want for her to turn this deep bedding into compost. You like that, Judy? Got all kinds of black stuff on your nose. That's mine. Did you enter outside compart um love department? What did you say? What are you looking for? The cutters. Oh shoot. Uh, the tester, but no cutters. Shoot. Do we have any backup cutters? Yeah, they it, they could could be at the barn. Oh. Is it over there? Okay, maybe you can find something over there. Gravity fed water coming off the mountain. It has an air bubble in it. We worked on it yesterday and didn't quite resolve it. I'm hoping it sort of worked itself out last night. As long as that stays going hard and doesn't just... See that? Ah, okay. It should be like, it should stay like that. Hear that air? But before I climb the mountain, we got a special guest. What's your name? Where are you from? From uh, Northern Neck, Virginia. Nice. Out by the bay. It's feeder pickup day. I'm more than excited. My wife. I've been making her crazy being excited about the pigs. Ah. What's your shirt say? The Lord will send a blessing on your barns and on everything you put your hand to. Well, hopefully you get a blessing with these pigs. May not be a barn, but it may be a mobile uh, don't need a bar uh, <laughs> i've got my pig palace that's right you've got a pig palace this is what your pigs will look like when they're about done they're ready There's maybe a month idea. maybe this is a forest setup this is the electric fence just a simple oh, energizer we end up having two pig paddocks so that they're in this one we can set up the next one and move them over he's doing this on a much smaller scale what are you going you're just going to use pig panels yep, four pig, pig panels put together with t-posts yeah, Two right. sets. I like it. Look at this grass coming up, guys. We planted zero grass. They're gonna bring up grass for our grazers. Get a little itch, doesn't he? Get in. You coming with? You gonna stay down here? All right. We're gonna try to get the air out of this line. Ended up hiking this mountain twice yesterday, and something interesting happened. Over the last couple of weeks, I've had heightened arthritis pain in my ankles and feet pain from my chronic Lyme. Keep going. After hiking this mountain, I felt better. Like, what's up with that? As hard as this is, almost 45 degrees up. I kind of think I'll have to do this this morning. And maybe I ought to start experimenting. Climb this mountain every morning. Eric from WNC Base Camp said, go and put a T in the upper line and open it up and let the air out. Is it full? Yeah. See, there's no reason that shouldn't just be pushing down like crazy. You got water here. We actually don't want water here. We want to hear air coming out. We got water, shoot. Okay. That means the air didn't get pushed all the way up to here. It's trapped somewhere down lower. You know what we should do? What? Somebody to stole this thing where they where when it snows like at a skating thing. Uh huh. I mean like not a skating thing like a, a, a um <coughs> skiing. Okay. You could catch one of those things that takes you up the hill. Oh, gondola. We're gonna have to put more tees in the upper lines. Is my guess. That's not gonna happen today. You have to go milk and get customers their pigs. So we're gonna have to go to a plan B this morning. Cows are gonna have zero water. Water's supposed to be coming off the mountain. There's some more down in here getting filled up again. I'm gonna turn it on. We'll turn it on. Something might happen. Yep. Might get lucky. Hey, this is different. I wasn't getting water this far down yesterday. Hey, I don't know what we did. We did nothing. But there's water. I can hear it coming through too. Heck yeah. What did I do? I did nothing. Well, it's going to help pick up the net. Let's run with this while it's going, while we've got some luck. This is going to be where we need the water. Also have water. If this doesn't work, the nearest hydrant is right there. And we're going w uh, 400 feet over there. I'm not sure I have 400 feet to spare. And then the next day it's going to be 500 feet away. So. This has got to be fixed. The most beautiful sound. And there's the most beautiful sight. <laughs> but the non-milking cow's over and I don't hear the most beautiful sound in the world anymore. It's still going. Okay. 
We'll take it. I feel like we get some water in the line and then we hit an air pocket and it quits. An amazing little cage we have here. We just got you two pigs. In my ugly pig palace. Hey, it works. Look, he's just got, what, a box you built in the back for, sh for I, land and that's, shelter. That's and then, part of the palace that I picked up. I, it, the box was already built. Oh. I put that in. This literally was built for pigs. Yes. It's All it is is pallets. You got your tin roof. And that'll work. Yep. I work for transport too. Cost you how much? Zero. <laughs> Very affordable. Unless you want to count what I spent for screws. And good for you putting the wood shavings down. Congratulations. I am quite happy and quite grateful for the pigs and the lessons. Yes. And the support that you've already given uh -huh. us. Good. Thank you. And thank you for picking. Picking up the pigs. Good morning. Good morning. I heard it's ready. He was on time today, buddy. Oh, he, he had no problem getting up today. It is our monthly biscuits and gravy cheat day. And it happens to be Mother's Day. Yes. Well, we were going to have it yesterday, but then I was like, let's just put it to today. So that's our special. We don't oh. make anything special twice. Look at this. Mom, help you with that gravy? Now that's a party. I'm telling you, if I were on death row and I could have one last meal, biscuits and gravy would be it. Maybe we would just have to add fried chicken to go with the biscuits and gravy. And grits, of course. Where's the grits, my man? It took me an hour and 30 to make this. It's gonna take me two hours then. It's gotta perfect it. Henry, where's your shoe? <laughs> he don't care. And we can't find it. What'd you make, Beth? Mm. This is a uh, cheesecake and strawberry. Made your own Mother's Day. Yeah, well, I taught, I taught Lily how to do it. That's you want neat. some? Uh, mother and daughter. We have to eat. Working together to make the uh, dessert. Okay. You want some cake? Yeah! What do you got there? <laughs> are you a box boy? You are? Yeah. They got you dressed up? Yeah. How are you going to eat dinner like this? Eat. Eat. Let's see it. Uh -oh. Look who's up and at him with us this morning. Yeah. And in a really good mood. You in a really good mood? Yeah. You in a really good mood? All right, yeah. get down the seat. Sally is in the shop, so we all squeeze into Salma. You need carried? Yeah. It's crazy. I think like five chickens are out. I don't think that fence was ever ignited was the problem. Wow. If we don't get these chickens in and keep them in, they are gonna tear up our garden. Yeah, I'm looking in here. Well, that may be a chicken dust bath right there. Took down an onion. We've got to keep them out of here. You guys hold that area. Good job, bud. More than two out still. Up, oh, grab it, grab it. If it doesn't go around, oh, it's in. don't ever feel bad if your chickens are getting out. Happens to the best of us. Round two, here they come down the line. Be prepared if they jump the net, jump into the net to grab them. They're good, that's peaceful. You guys wanna check on Kai? Kai must be seven years old. The only chicken we've ever kept. But she's slowing down. That's right, walk up and pet her. Okay, she's still got some spunk in her. It helps if you plug in the Energizer. Y'all took my drop cord. That one reach. Too small. Looks like they used it for the other energizer, which is good. We need that. Nobody's in that field over there now. So we can use that one. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's the plant just keeps on giving. Oh no, don't harvest that one. They're huge. That'll plant back seeds, I reckon. Oh, you say thank you. Here, give it to him, Gideon. Okay. What are you gonna do with it, Henry? Look. These strawberries will be in soon. Nice, that's almost ready. Oh, well, somebody got it to it first. Yeah. You gonna take a bite? Papa, Papa. You gonna take a bite? Let's see you take a bite. Look, Henry. <laughs> He's shaking it. <laughs> How many people can we sit in a single seat side by side? I took a bite. At the midway point where the line comes off the mountain with the water, what we want is you to open that and it blast. And not just blast for a minute, just keep on blasting. It's still going pretty good though. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. 
Look at that, that air. Though. They would have been air at the top, I guess. Have we been hiking the mountain? What do you guys think? I think they want to hike the mountain. I think I have a hike, hike it for my health. You want to go put in a tee up top? Sure. I mean, there was still air in here somewhere. I wonder if we, oh, there's a hose on to this one. That's the access road. We're going to go down, start towards the pasture. Air is going to travel up the line, and I know there's air in this line. So it doesn't make sense that we open the upper lines to let air out. There's no air in this. That's doing good. Is it slowing? The fact that it's slowing seems to tell me there must be air on the line up above. See that? Here comes the air. Come back and get me! It's working enough right now. So my plan is I need to hike this mountain anyway for health. So let's do it once a day, putting in a new tee up higher up. This is gonna leak. Look, you can hear air going in. So air's gonna be sucked in at these places. That one looks like it needs Teflon tape. That right there is probably the core of my problem. Not completely sealed line and air is getting in the line. We got Henry in the ergo. Which is yeah. saying something because normally he hates it. You like it now? I don't have very many more of these little experiences. But you're the last. Already, a leak right here, top. Yeah. Look, you can hear this gulping water. Hold on, though. Mm. Okay, let's go put a T in. No dripping. Now we'll come put a T in. That's not what I was gonna do, but I'm glad we did it. Thank you, guys. This hose goes down the line, but there is some of that a lot like see it dips right here so I suspect we can't drain all the water out of it to get rid of the air pockets that way and every day as we hike this we'll clear this trail a little bit more and then it'll be our morning loop I'm gonna carry you like this before you get upset to not ruin the ergo experience one more obstacle till we get there there's one here and over there. I wouldn't let him down a stinging nettle right there. Look at this rock. Okay, I'll switch this out for a tee. We might have a leak here anyway. So I figure out how to take these pinch clamps off really easy. Squeeze hard and twist fast, hard, and they break. Whoops. I didn't think this one all the way through. I didn't bring the connection here. I'm gonna see if I can't go ahead and fix this though, because it might help us today. But tomorrow we'll bring in a tee post up there. Tee. Fixed it. But it just needs to. Well, there maybe it is. I didn't. Where? Right there. Maybe there. I do. Tomorrow we'll put a T in. Yes. And make deep. sure we fix it real nice. You're riding. You're riding the ergo the whole way down. Actually, we are about to get to the steep woods over there. So, since way over there, can you see it? The walnut tree? I've been working on training vanilla to come be tied to the side by side so we don't have to take the milk sled in there. That's pretty good for a cow that wouldn't even go in the stanchion not too long ago. I can start milking, it's all right. But it's the, it's the brushing that really makes her nervous. How you doing? Pretty good. Ah! Eating a banana? No. Enjoying you a banana this morning? Banana. Yeah, I see you, we caught banana. you. He's eating the banana, I'm trying to just shove it in. We <laughs> caught you. He ate it pretty good, huh? Daddy ate most of it. It's time to cook. I'm afraid to fail that you're not gonna like it. Well, I might not like it, but I and don't think it has any There's a lot that like could go wrong. Looking at the first draft of the chick shawl for homestead builds. That's the optional tow bar. Look at this. 119 steps and it's complete. Now we proof it and I write my notes about how to use it. A little bit of going back and forth with the co-author, the engineer, and the uh, graphic designer. And that'll be ready. So the chick shawl, I'm pretty confident I can say, will also, that and the chicken tractor will be ready for download and print for all that back the Kickstarter by the time the Kickstarter's over and we can start releasing these things. Got myself stopping. I'm smiling and watching Josiah work. I'm also realizing he's 13 years old. I'm just enjoying it. I'm just enjoying it, watching him work, mowing. He does it once a week. I can remember my dad 
doing the same for me and it feels like it was just yesterday. Proud of myself and then so much more proud when I saw that dad was proud of me. Now I'm the dad? <laughs> it's, tri it's, it's trippy. I still don't believe it sometimes. I feel closer to a teenager than a dad of teenagers. Now that's nice. Mom's wind chimes. 20 feet from the house, 10 feet up in the air. That's much better than right by our, our picnic table. So much fun cooking that pork. I think we're gonna cook something we're more culturally attached to. We're gonna cook us a rotisserie chicken. Food service tray, so we can do it over this towel. Did I not set out chickens? I could have sworn you had set out chickens. Okay, goodness. Back. I wouldn't put it past me, so I was freaking out. I'm crazy. I could put them back, you know. What do you think? I'm worried about food. the rain. This is food we're used to. Hadn't had a rotisserie chicken in a long time. I know. It's gonna bring back memories. Oh we yeah, rain. Do. Well, if it rained, we could put that. We could put the ten by ten over. Grandma is out of her treatment and quarantine and can come to dinner. You excited about that? Two dinners in a row we've had them. It hasn't cleared up her speech yet, y'all. For those who've donated, thank you so much. Doctor said it could take a couple of months, so I mean, here's hoping. I mean, she did it. Uh, that's hard to keep on there. Did the pig, it was easy. Tied the tail up. Cut the tent from the rain. Cut the blower. Boy, it's really going now, huh? Now they've gotten all ashy, haven't they? Yeah. Well, charcoal won't hurt us. Won't hurt us one bit. Let's see if we can do something to wipe it down. Is it hot now? It's 2.30. Don't stir it too much. Don't get any ashes on it here at the end. 5.30 and it's only 1.32 in there. I don't think I can lower it though. It's gonna burn. It's already starting to burn a little bit. Josiah, you like that better than the pork, huh? Yeah, he loves chicken. Look at this. Turned out very nice. There's one. There's two. Don't come out in your socks. You have other boots if you can't find your yellow boots. Oh, hopefully you're not gonna dig to each other. Layer chicks graduating. To the shock or not. They've been sheltered in the chicken tractor. We're letting them get a little bit bigger. We got a guard goose in here to guard them from hawks. Guard goose in training. <laughs> Something's ate that. Hopefully it was Winnie. That was our leftover pork from our whole baby pig suckling pig. Really? Did you just pee in the pole barn? Make it into here next time. That's great. Not on the concrete. You guys ready for some new partners? We got plenty of grass. It's spring. Pull up to their side right here. That's good, that's good. Are we gonna move them cross country? Yep, cut up through there. And then we'll get on the road and cut them into there. These little baby lambs have been weaned from their mothers. And I'm pretty sure, well, the mothers are dried up. It's been a couple of months, hasn't it? Yeah. If we get them out of here, We'll have one less chore to do. And we'll be able to put this three quarter acres into the rotation for everybody. Go all the way to that area where it's flat. Get him over. <laughs> they, that's the first thing they did is try to nurse. Mom's button them. <laughs> Let's take our moment and admire the boys. Make sure they see us admiring them. Listen. Yeah. Nothing. And it's been that way for about a week and a half. We're in one of those lulls. Demo's done. We're waiting on Sean. Sean will end up being our framer, our siding guy, and roof guy. So when that when that happens, we're gonna get moving fast. Notice something? The windows. Come on, let's show them. We are still bare as all get out. Oh, I will say this. We have decided and learned the roof sagging a little bit. And this is rough hewn wood, and they will allow that code, but not this thin. This is probably not thick enough for, for rough, so we're actually gonna have to redo the whole roof 
While we're at it, we're raising it two feet. Now don't you climb towards that window. We're blowing the entire roof off. I blew our budget away. We're pretty much, we're gonna have to frame downstairs, but not do any of that. Finishing, that's gonna, we're gonna have to have a phase two. Keep this budget under control. I don't know if we should pour those BBs out. No. We did manage to demo downstairs, including the walk-in freezer. Now Randolph called me, cause he wanted me to make sure this got caught on camera. In lieu of four men, we have a... Wait, they need to get out from underneath. Oh yeah, y'all need to get out. He's gonna roll it off to here, down these boards. Hopefully it doesn't And hopefully it doesn't slide out of control. Brenda, you taking the smokestack down? Randolph has been helping us fill in the gaps, keep the project moving, but there's really only so much he can do. We're really just waiting on this crew to come. That's a moldy spot. We did open up a can of worms when we opened up this floor and walls up for sure. Nacho and friends are overdue for a move. I think Gideon wanted to help on this. Gideon, did you want to help move the nacho? Let's do it. Did it help? Yeah. If we do not move these guys, one, they're gonna run out of food, and two, they're gonna get parasites from their manure. At the end of this one fence, right here, we call it the joint when two fences come together, we can pick that up. Probably go to a butt right here, and then we can keep that fence in place and build off of it down there and encompass this. Gonna help. Come on, you barefoot baby. Who's the baby? Help him. Look, Henry, help Leah. Look. Oh. He didn't ever get it. Oh. And so he said that the trusses were cheaper. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I thought he said six. I forget. Wow. Cheaper than. Doing the tube of twelves because you have to double them up. And All right. On the end. So he's just been making phone calls then. Well, he's gonna, no, I, he, I told him go ahead and order. Them. He's getting okay. He's and getting everything lined up. Measure and we can talk to him. He's getting everything lined up. Yeah, I think that's the best because they come engineered. Yeah, yeah. So that satisfies the county right away. Oh yeah. So we don't have to work and. You don't have to, you can put walls anywhere and you don't have to worry about it. Yeah. So, I think, I just wish that, uh, I don't know, we'd have planned that earlier. I didn't know we were going to raise the roof. Yeah, that's true. We could have had them ordered. How long are they out? I think it's probably 10 days. Oh, gosh. But what can we do? I mean. Is he ready to start after that? I'm hoping it's. I don't know. It depends on, you know what it depends on? What? How many orders the guy's got. Yeah. Uh, you know, he's going to go Blue Ridge Trust. We had used them before. All right. And, uh, is, he, is he ready to start after it's here, though? I, that's the way he acted. Okay. If you didn't catch the beginning of that, Big Daddy has gotten a hold of Sean, and we're going to wait on 10 days for these uh, engineered trusses to come in. No chance we'll fail inspection with those things. He likes to be busy. <laughs> They're ready. They sense it. You getting hungry, Nacho? About to be the best day ever for Nacho and his bud. What do you think they'll go for first? These raspberries? This ragweed? Grasses? I really gotta learn to name, name all these things. They even ate this. I don't think it's their first choice. Is that poke? They've eaten everything. Yeah, they didn't eat this bri. That's one reason we're gonna come in and mow behind them and get what they did and chop that down and the edibles will come back faster than that. Hey, sheep, 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 sheep. Sheep, 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 sheep. I figured that tripod might scare them. Sheep, 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 sheep. And they start eating right when they cross. Not sure, They're very uncertain. Let's just get them over. Don't wanna run them into the fence. There you go, come on guys, there you go. Going for the raspberries. Juneberries. Hey, what y'all been doing in here? Yeah. You been tearing it up? Yeah. Yeah, that's probably the truth. Yeah. You've been tearing it up. Bye -bye. 
We got a few minutes before launch. Let's start preparing this line for burial. I want to bury our water line because if it's out like that, well, the sun wears it out and it leaches. Plus, we accidentally run it over and hit it with things. Maybe you mow over it. Cross through roads. We haven't buried it yet because we just want to make sure it wasn't leaking. Look at all that air in that line. We're good here and this hen's not going to be buried anyway. Yeah, there's a leak. Yeah, we want to fix this leak before we bury it. Well, we didn't make it very far. 100 feet from the end, at least they could they could start burying this. And we got to wait for the clamps. Grandma's going to get us some clamps this afternoon. There's like a lot of water in the bottom of this. You got a good amount of water coming out. We cannot bury it until these are fixed. Why are these all leaking? Do we have some luck? It's leaking too, bro. Really? Why? Fourth one. Okay, it's not leaking. Five. Any leaks? Nope. No leaks. Maybe there's more pressure down there. It is at the bottom. Six. No leaks. We're one for two. Any here? No. Still got a bit of air in the line. But it's very doable. You hear that? Putting those air outlets up higher is going to help with that. All right, Gideon, you want to go eat lunch? We'll see who gets the truck fastest. He's going that way back. I'm going the road. He's running. I'm not going to run. He's already there. Incidentally, I want you guys to see something. Oh yeah! See that coming up? Coming up, foresting our pastures. It's working. I don't think I've seen one tree that's not making it. And pretty soon, it's gonna be like that maple we planted in honor of my dad and late father. All through here. It's gonna look like a little savanna. A little haven for these grazing animals and us. You been waiting long? What's a long time for an eight-year-old? Hour. Two minutes? Jonah going? Where are you going? Grade the access road. Where were you going? To grade the access road. How's it going in here? It's going good. You been busy? So, I bought these like shelves that stick on so I got on a lid so okay. that these can stack better. Alright. And then I got them over here too. And we put stuff in this and then it's we just have more space. You're making this tiny little cabin. So nice. Lily, what you got us? Chicken, onion, vegetables, and hamburgers. Is it getting easier to cook in here, everything mom's doing? Yeah. We've contracted with Lily. Lily's cooking. You like cooking? Yeah. And we're going to pay you? Mm -hmm. you. What are you going to do with your money? Buy toy animal horses. She's going to buy toy animal horses. Does that surprise anybody? No. Look. Before lunch, we got to get some milk. How do you like it? Nice. We got a glass shield on Salma and a roof. You're glowing. Like Lily going to a horse lesson. Come on in. He's calling. He wants to go with us. This would be better. Keep the sun off of it. Rain. Come on, Salty. You want to drink some of that? You holding it? Rebecca, mm -hmm. I talked to Big Daddy. Sean's going to order trusses. It's going to yeah. be 10 days. Fine. And, and, and that's if it is only going to be 10 days. And if Sean starts right away. As soon right. As we get them. Right. But it sounds like Sean's on the phone just getting things lined up. Come. I mean, I'm already let go of Thanksgiving. We're going to be spending a cozy Thanksgiving and Christmas it's gonna get here even cozier, at the cabin. Because it's going gonna, it's gonna to get cold. Where are we going to spend more time? It's one thing when we can sit out here on this nice mm -hmm. porch wow. and get this nice view. We might have to put the Christmas tree outside and look at it through the window. We may have to get that little tiny Christmas tree right, we, we have in the bus. Getting, put it on the mantle. There they go, back without me. Hey, I need a ride. WD-40 on this tire. You think that'll do it? Squeaky wheel, folks. Well, now it's not doing it. Now you're all right. Bury it all the way to that first hookup. Leave it, because I have to fix that first hookup, so don't get too close. Stay 10 feet away. And then let me go show you what to do on the other side. Look, Josiah accidentally hit the electric fence to mower. Now, does that mean our cows aren't getting electricity? No. Where is it? Um, it was basically where we had to switch from the okay. wire to the strand. Okay, so we can just use a single strand from there? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's another reason we got to bury the... Oh, you know what? We can't bury this yet. Well, maybe we can if we can get the electric line over there. We got to bury the electric line, too. Oh. For that reason. What are you going to do? Just start oiling stuff? Yeah. Hope you get it. Did you get it? We'd be able to hear it, wouldn't we? Okay, I think you fixed it. See, I don't know if we can do this yet, Josiah. Because this whole post, well, this whole post could be moved. But you might be able to 
do they? Yeah. Did you get that all the way to the water line? Yeah. One right there, that's the third one. It's leaking too, but from there over, you can cover. No more running over that electric line with the mower. What do you think, Henry? Gotcha. The chicken tractor plans are already ready to go. Did Here's I miss anything thing. critical? <laughs> this is good. Because yeah. you talked about how you've been um, working on a book for a year, but you didn't yes. say that. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I missed a line. Austin. One of my editors came and we filmed the Kickstarter video for Homestead Builds, which, by the way, Chickshaw first draft is in. The Chickshaw 5.0, it's like 120 steps. But if you can build a Lego, you can build this. Austin came last week all the way from Charlotte. We went to Whole Foods, we filmed this amazing skit in town. It's looking good, right? What are you doing, Salty? Ow. What are you doing, Salty? The skit turned out great and it's hilarious. Cannot wait for you guys to see that. We gotta work on the pitch a little bit. I totally missed a line. Like introducing my newest book. Nobody even knows what this is about. Yeah. Somehow I, I, I missed an entire line being like, this is a book of design plans. I'm gonna have to redo that part. And then I noticed my collar was up in the back. My hat was crooked in the front seam. Oh, and then we put the, I put the mic right here on the outside of the shirt. That mic should have been on the inside. I'm like a professional. I've made 4,000 videos at this point. Come on. And I know you guys are saying, it's okay. Don't worry about it. I know that. I know that. Because we're tight, right? But we're hoping to reach a larger, broader audience and hopefully get some people that have never even met me before. I don't need to look like a fool last night. You know what I'm saying? I look like a fool last night. Come on. Come on. We've been waiting here patient while I go over the Kickstarter. Maybe I should go hide at the farmhouse. What are you doing? I'm, oh well, I'm trying to download something, but besides that, I'm going to go pick up mail. Helps if you get closer to the internet. No, no, that's not, I'm looking for an account number. Jonah wants to show me his track loader job. Can we need Sally back? Yes. <laughs> uh, can we all get in here? Yes. Or right, just three of y'all and so, I'll walk. I'm so happy you did not buy one of these. Sally's in the shop. Okay, we do we miss her. You're funny. I do have to get her one one day. She, oh, she's always wanted a golf cart. These are the farm carts. No, these are these are the mountain go cart. Uh, mountain golf carts. Keys missing. Oh, Grandma got our rings, dude. Yeah, we need a lot more than that. Wait, is this it? Yeah, I took all the oh, ground wow. that got washed out and put oh, it back. Oh, cool. So you did some road grading. Yeah. What you need is a scrape. And I also did it here. Wow. This is nice. All right, he smoothed it out. Well, that's good to know you can grade a road. Look at this. Yeah. Wow. And you graded it so the water will flow See, off. There's, there's the water drainer right there. Oh, there we go. And then I made this not such a uphill. I took dirt from there and made it. All right, level. nice. Did in this rooty area too? I, I had to wow. not do some areas because of the roots. Alright, stop here and decide what your job. Look at this. I'm walking on the water line. I'm walking on the electric line. You know what, Josiah? You what? buried you, Oh shoot. What? You buried that out there, didn't you? Some of it. Oh, without putting We forgot the thing to put in. electric line in. You'll just dig another trench, but shallow. The electric line doesn't have to be deep. Alright, don't worry. Alright, he smoothed this up as best you can. How are you gonna smooth this up all the way though? With the track loader. Okay, because this got to get to where we down. can mow it. Just go backward. Okay, and you're gonna do it real That's smooth. That's what I did out there on the. It'll be like that road out there, Papa. Okay. It'll look like that. Pile some here in the middle because I think it's gonna sink in. Yeah, no, you didn't get too close. It's fine. You you kept far enough away from that. I can fix it. Good. Yeah. Good job. What is this? Yeah, I'm making frosting for the cupcakes. Oh man, you guys are getting spoiled. Literally spoiling everybody. How'd it turn out? Good. Good. Back. What have you created? But you created this one too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have really? to help him. That's really? wonderful. Look. <laughs> oh, he's into it, buddy. Come on, salty. Eat it up. Ah. Oh. 